Does everybody remember the other day when we were talking about if I had 3.75 times um, 100, what would I do, Jaden? Decimal over two? Yes. Which way? Um, right. To the right. Why? Um, because you're trying to get by. Because I'm multiplying. Multiplying, we move to the right, and because there are two zeros, you're going to move 3.75. You're going to move, move it, the decimal, two places to the right. That's just a review. Everybody remember that? Okay. <clears throat> now, this time, instead of multiplying, we are going to divide. Okay. Now, when you divide by 10, 100, 1,000, million, blah, 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 you can do the same thing we just did, okay? But division, which way am I going to go? The opposite way. I'm going to go to the left. So write that down somewhere. When dividing by multiples of 10, 10, 100, 1,000, whatever, <clears throat> when you divide, you're going to move the decimal to the left when dividing. Okay, so how many spaces would I move this one to the left? Two. Two. Why two? Because there's two zeros. Because there's two zeros. Very good. So 3.75 now becomes one, two steps to the left. Fill it in with zero. And that would be my answer. Very simple, right? Okay. Let me see y'all do one. The answer be yes, Jane. Four, five. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Okay, so right now it's three point seven five, and because we're dividing, that means we're going to move the decimal to the left one spot because there was one zero. So my final answer would be that. Pretty simple. <clears throat> That's the lesson.